Thank you for listening to today's Veterans Christian Fellowship Devotional Bible Study, Worship in Spirit and Truth, Reflecting a Heart for Jesus. Please click the link in the description to read along, and be sure to look up and study the reference scriptures throughout. Our scripture reading begins today in Colossians chapter 3, verses 1-17. through 17. We read, If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. For you died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Therefore put to death your members which are on the earth, fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Because of these things the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience, in which you yourselves once walked when you lived in them. But now you yourselves are to put off all these, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language out of your mouth. Do not lie to one another, since you have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, who is renewed in the knowledge according to the image of him who created him. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, bearing with one another and forgiving one another, if anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. Above all these things put on love, which is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which you also were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching, and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Proverbs 27, 19 reads, As water reflects the face, so one's life reflects the heart. In yesterday's message, Being Filled, Complete in Christ, we discussed how the only way that anyone can be complete is through an intimate relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, wherein a heart completely devoted to Him is indwelt with the Holy Spirit, and therefore brought to fullness in union with Christ, having body, soul, and spirit in continuous fellowship with the indwelling Holy Spirit, life as God our Creator intended. Jesus explains that some may purport this life, but only fool themselves with half-hearted devotion or lip service, as they miss the mark by despising wisdom and continuing in disobedience. The last few messages have highlighted some key points of Psalm 23 where King David says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Yesterday we referenced Jesus' first and greatest commandment. In Mark 12, 29-30, Jesus says, The most important commandment is this, Listen, O Israel, the Lord our God is the one and only Lord. And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. Consistent with Jesus' first and greatest commandment, in Matthew 6.33 Jesus commands, Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. We see that the words of David in Psalm 23 aren't simply acknowledgement that God has provided, but they express knowing that he always will provide, as David has placed his trust in God alone and not in himself. In Jeremiah 17 verses 5 through 10 we read, Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the man who trusts in man and makes flesh his strength, whose heart departs from the Lord. For he shall be like a shrub in the desert, and shall not see when good comes, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness. 
in a salt land which is not inhabited. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out, spreads out its roots by the river and will not fear when heat comes, but its leaf will be grain and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruit. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the heart. I test the mind, even to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his doings. This promise of provision for those who trust in the Lord is one to be treasured as it brings the peace, comfort, and security of knowing that God will always provide for our needs in a far superior way than we could ever do for ourselves. But to treasure the promise, we must follow the Lord's command to trust and seek Him above all else, like the most valuable treasure. In Matthew chapter 6, verses 19-21, through 21, Jesus said, Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. An undivided heart for Jesus, whose treasure is not on this earth, but is truly in heaven, will bear the fruit of the Spirit, not the deeds of the flesh. Recall that in Matthew 7.21, Jesus clearly expresses that only those who do the Father's will enter the kingdom of heaven. And the scriptures are clear that no one can be in the Father's will apart from His Word. As the Holy Spirit guides born-again believers into all the truth, God's will is clearly illuminated to Christ's disciples through His Holy Word. Many times it can be as straightforward as 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16-18, through 18, where the Apostle Paul provides a clear and concise expression of God's will for all born-again believers who have been made complete in Christ. He says, Always be joyful. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. These attitudes and behaviors reflect a heart for Him, those of one who places their full faith and trust in Jesus and that bear fruit of the Spirit. This brings us back to our proverb, so one's life reflects the heart. And Jesus said that the things that come out of a person's mouth come from the heart. See Matthew 15:18. We often discussed how those who are true disciples are to shine the light of Christ as witnesses for Him and to continually profess Jesus' name. Born-again believers live in union with the Lord in obedience to God's will, as they are indwelt by the Holy Spirit for the very purpose of living as God intended. Being indwelt with the Spirit of God, there is no need for born-again believers to summon the Holy Spirit's presence or to seek out people places and things for worship in order to feel closer to God. In Luke 17, 20, B, verses through 21, Jesus said, The kingdom of God does not come with observation, nor will they say, See here or see there, for indeed the kingdom of God is within you. In John chapter 4, Jesus is speaking with the Samaritan woman at Jacob's well in Tekar, and he is explaining to her, that the kind of worship God the Father seeks is not about a place. In verses 23 through 24, Jesus says, But the hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship Him. God is spirit, and those who worship Him must worship in spirit and truth. God is omnipresent. And in Jeremiah 23, verses 23 through 24, he says, I am God who is everywhere and not in one place only. No one can hide where I cannot see them. 
do you not know that I am everywhere in heaven and on earth? As God is the omnipresent spirit, to know the life that he calls us to and the worship he seeks requires abiding in his word of truth and his spirit in us. In John 14, 23, Jesus said, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Born-again believers have been made complete through union with Christ and have the power of God within them through the indwelling Holy Spirit who teaches, testifies to, and confirms scriptural truth and empowers believers to know God's will for an obedient life pleasing to Him. Christ's followers need not look to the world, anywhere or anyone, for the kingdom of God. Because if we treasure the Lord Jesus Christ and His word in our hearts above all else, and bear fruit by keeping with repentance, then the kingdom of God is within you. This is how one's life reflects a heart for Jesus.